Hi everyone! Today is December 25 in the Philippines, so I am greeting every single one of you a very Merry Christmas. This is Mary Ann and welcome to my channel. And this is the very first of the 12 reviews of 12 different fountain pens that I am doing for everythingcalligraphy.com as part of their 12 pens of Christmas series. We are going to start with one of my most favorite pen brands, which is Pilot. And this is the Pilot Falcon. This is one of the pens that I have requested to review from Everything Calligraphy, and they just sent me a random variation. And it turns out what they have sent me is the black one with rhodium trim and it comes in this packaging it comes in a hard plastic case that opens up like a clamshell and it has a beige colored um, platform inside that has a garter that holds the pen and the pen comes wrapped in a plastic sheath and the pen itself has a sticker label on it that identifies what kind of nib it has on and it says SF which stands for soft fine. I will link down below the entry for this particular pen in the Everything Calligraphy website but this pen also comes in a SEF nib which is the soft extra fine and it comes in different colors and different trims as well but this is what we have right now it is a black with rhodium trim it looks very very pretty very very classy the material itself of the body and the cap is resin and it has that very, very nice shine to it. It's very, very smooth. And resin is not really a very heavy material. So if you prefer lighter pens, this is a pen that you can consider looking at. As you can see, the finial is also rhodium to match all of the trim that is on this pen. And the overall design is really very, very sleek. I really like the very simple um, clip that it has. It, it has a certain design to it. It has a certain angle to it. As you can see, it is not completely flat. It sort of curves up. And the surface of the clip itself has those very subtle angles to them. And the barrel is decorated by this band that is decorated. It has Pilot Japan at towards the back of it. And the rest of the band has this braided engraving on it. The cabin screws with about three to four um, short twists. And here is the nib that it comes in. It is the SF nib or the soft fine nib and as you can see the nib is not completely flat either. It has that little hunchback shape that you can see and that allows the nib to do something special which I am going to show you later. But on the nib there is the engraving 14K which stands for the kind of gold that it has um, and the numbers 585 and then the word pilot and then the kind of nib it is, which is SF. Now, this is a gold nib with a rhodium plating to match the rest of the trim on the pen. As a gold nib, um, or meaning because the, the nib is made of, a, of the material gold, it must be soft and flexible. So I actually have very high expectations of this pen. I have never used a soft fine nib before although I have used a bunch of pens with gold nibs and I really really like them they're so comfortable to write with but let's try out this particular pen but before we go to the fun part let's have some exact measurements of this pen I have here a ruler and it's in centimeters and the pen when capped is about 13.5 centimeters long and uncapped and unposted meaning if the cap is not posted on the barrel the length of the pen becomes a, a little less than 12.5 centimeters but when the cap is posted the length of the pen is about 15 centimeters 
I find the pen very comfortable to hold, maybe because it's not a very thick pen and it's not a very heavy pen, although I am quite comfortable writing with heavy pens, but maybe it's really just the right size for my hands. So let's measure my hands from the tip of the tallest finger to the base of my hand, it's 17 centimeters. And that is how small my hand is. I think that because my hand is very, very small, this pen fits my hand perfectly. And I think um, if the pen is the right size and weight for your hand, that is one major factor in achieving um, comfort in writing by hand. And that is also a major factor in achieving good handwriting. I decided to ink up this pen with J. Herbin Pocher de Lune. I like this color. It's that color that is swatched on the box. It is a, a dark, dusty purple. And I'm a big fan of matching ink colors to pen colors. But because we have a black pen on our hands, I figured that this ink would look very, very pretty. So this pen already comes with a converter already installed in it, but you can use a cartridge with it as well. But for now we have this converter. It is the Con 50 converter. And it was quite easy to fill this converter because I didn't have to struggle with it. But when I pulled the pen out from the ink bottle, I saw that almost all of the entire converter was filled with ink. I didn't have to do the um, flip over and tap tap thing which always annoys me okay now for the fun part we are going to start writing with this pen first of all I wrote there the brand of the pen and then the usual stuff we usually um, write down what ink we have loaded into this pen so that we can have a record of what we have already tested it out with and then um, now we can proceed with what we think of the pen. And right off the bat, I can say that it's a beautiful, beautiful wet pen. I angled the camera in such a way to make you see how wet the lines are. The ink actually pools. If you can see the dark parts of the, th the words that I have written, that is where the ink pools more than that of the other lines and some of the lines are still even wet uh, especially specifically that F on the SF so it's a really really wet writer and I think the ink is also a factor to consider because it the, the J Herbin line is really a wet smooth flowing ink so I think I made the right choice in combining this ink with this pen and by the way, the paper that I am using to test this pen on is just the Midori MDA5 notebook that I have um, made a review of in my channel and I will link it down below. And this is the paper that I will be using for all of the fountain pen reviews that I will be making for this series. I think it's a very beautiful paper that is made especially for fountain pens and that is why I am using um, the paper for the series. Now I just continue to write down on the paper my thoughts on the pen that I am using and as you have probably guessed I am raving about this pen. I really like it. I like wet writers. In fact one of my most favorite pens is a very wet writer. It's the Pelican M400 but this Pilot Falcon that we are reviewing right now is also a very wet writer and because it is a very wet writer enough ink flows out of the nib to sort of lubricate the nib as it glides on the paper so therefore the wetness of the pen contributes to the smoothness of the nib as you glide it over the paper. Now I think I speak for all fountain pen users when I say that everybody likes a smooth nib. However, we simply differ on the kind or level or degree of smoothness that we prefer. I don't really like the nibs that are so smooth that they write like glass because 
I feel that at any given point in time, they might fly off my hands. So I like a little bit of tooth, but not so much tooth. I still prefer to feel some kind of grip of the nib on the paper and not have it feel like it's about to fly out of my hands any moment. This pen this particular one, the Pilot Falcon, has the perfect combination of smoothness and toothiness to it, which makes it very, very comfortable for me to write. And if you have been around in my channel long enough, you you know that I have very small handwriting when I am writing in my planner, and I can adjust the size of my handwriting depending on the lines or the guides that I have on the paper that I'm writing on. I can write comfortably with a 1.5 millimeter italic pen on a 6.5 millimeter ruled paper, but I can also write comfortably using a fine point on a four millimeter grid paper. So being able to adjust the size of my handwriting, I can say that this pen is very comfortable to write with when I write very, very small. And because this nib is made of gold, it is therefore expectedly soft and springy and it actually, you can, you can bounce. And because the nib of this pen is made of gold, it is expectedly soft and springy and very comfortable to write with, especially if you have the kind of handwriting that has very strong strokes. You can actually bounce the tip of the nib onto the paper and it will still be very comfortable because the gold springs back. And I especially like the way it sits on my hand. As you can see, I'm writing with it with the cap posted on the barrel and with my very small hands which we have measured at the beginning of this video there are not many pens that I can write with with the cap posted but when I write with this pen with the cap posted the trim on the cap aligns with this part of my hand and I think that is pretty much the center of the pen. So I think that this pen is the perfect size for my hands because even if I post it, the weight of the pen is still centered on the part of the pen that falls into the enclosure of my hand rather than on the part where it already extrudes from my hand. But it's actually even more comfortable to write with with a cap and post it. As you can see, it is the perfect length and size for my hands. But really, I cannot get over how wet this pen writes, so I changed the camera angle a bit so that I can show you just how wet the pen writes. I hope you can see it this time. <laughs> it was kind of a challenge how to um, work my way around my camera to show you um, the angle in which the wet ink glistens on the paper, but I think I have achieved it in this um, angle right here on the word something. It's really, really a very wet writer, you guys. It's really beautiful. And here's another angle that shows how wet the pen writes. As you can see, the ink is still glistening. It is still so wet. And you can see the ink pooling on some of my handwriting strokes, which when dry leads to the shading that I love so much in fountain pens. This is really one of my most favorite things to watch when writing with fountain pens, seeing the ink being laid down very wet and glistening and then watching the ink as it dries. It's really, really very fascinating. And you can see it very clearly with this pen because it is a very wet, wet writer. And I'm going to show you a little bit more of this footage if you are anything like me and you prefer wet writers, and if you like um, shading in fountain pen inks, then this is definitely, definitely the pen for you. I did say at the beginning of this video that the nib of this pen has an unusual shape because it can do something special. And here is what I am referring to. Um, you can actually flex the nib. You can press harder on the paper on your down strokes to create thicker lines and then lift the pen up 
a little bit on your upstrokes to make thinner lines and that makes beautiful beautiful handwriting and you can see me demonstrating that um, with figures of eight on my sample sheet right here and I'm bringing it much much closer now my figures of eight are really really very even I'm not a very practiced calligrapher I really just write uh, like a normal person does but this is how it looks um, you can press down on the paper with the nib and as you can see the nib tines opens up a little bit in order to deposit more ink onto the paper and that is what creates the fatter lines on the downstrokes and if you use ink that has very very pronounced shading qualities you are going to see some beautiful beautiful colors in your calligraphy when using this pen I hope you notice in this particular video how the tines of the nib opens up at the downstroke in which I press hard on the paper because it's really very fascinating to watch. Not all fountain nibs can do this, only those fountain pens that have flex nibs and this pen and this nib certainly has that because it is the soft fine. I think it's pretty obvious by now how I feel about this pen. I really, really love this pen. I think it's very beautiful in the external aesthetics. It looks very beautiful and very classy, and it's a very, very good performer as well. The nib looks very beautiful, and it's very soft. And just look at the kind of handwriting it lays down. I'm not even a calligrapher, but I really like how my handwriting looks. It is largely thanks to this pen. So I highly recommend this pen. I hope you can check it out at the Everything Calligraphy website, which I have linked down below. Everything Calligraphy delivers to any point in the Philippines and they also have international deliveries. And that is my review for today. But note that this is just the first of 12 different pens that I am reviewing for everythingcalligraphy.com for their 12 pens of Christmas series. And I will be back tomorrow for a review of a different pen. And I'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching and Merry Christmas.